Welcome to Miller Manufacturing and our introduction of the Little Giant Model 9300 Still Air, Model 10300 Circulated Air, Model 11300 Deluxe, and 12300 CSA incubators. As a poultry hobbyist, you understand the need for incubators that not only help achieve a high yield hatch, but also can be operated intuitively and safely. That's why Little Giant has designed their incubators to be easier and safer to use than ever. An incubation capacity of approximately 46 chicken eggs, 40 duck eggs, 40 turkey eggs, or 90 pheasant eggs allows our Little Giant incubators to be used in a variety of poultry hatching applications. And with a host of accessories available separately, we hope to provide our customers with all the tools necessary to achieve their hatching goals. We will explore the features and operation of the Model 9300 Still Air, Model 10300 Circulated Air, and Model 12300 CSA incubators. Please note that the Model 11300 Deluxe Incubator includes both a fan kit and our Little Giant Egg Turner. As part of our ongoing effort to provide our customers with affordable and high quality products, Little Giant has improved the design and functionality of our incubators in several notable ways. A central heating unit eliminates the danger of burns, making the unit safe for hobbyists of all ages. The four inch clearance of our unit allows ample room for the addition of our Little Giant Egg Turner. Rounded edges and 8-point circulation also greatly improve airflow throughout the unit, maintaining consistent, stable temperatures and humidity across all eggs. These features will improve the hatch rate for eggs in all locations within the unit. The water channels are designed to be easily accessible during the hatching process without the need to remove anything from the incubator. The incubator also includes a digital thermometer and hydrometer to help you accurately monitor temperature and humidity levels. A convenient plastic mesh screen helps to improve hatch rates as it is easier to keep clean and sanitary. It is also much friendlier to newly hatched birds' tiny sheens. With your little giant incubator and some fertile eggs, you are ready to start incubation. Connect the power supply cord to the temperature controller. Be sure to support the back of the foam top while attaching to the power cord. Please note that it is recommended for all little giant products to use a ground fault circuit interrupter protected outlet. Do not use an extension cord with the incubator. The little giant incubator is designed to be plugged directly into the outlet. Now place the mesh screen on the bottom of the incubator. Once assembled, you are ready to start creating the appropriate environment to incubate your eggs. First, fill the water channels. To do this, simply lift the top of the incubator and slide it back an inch or two in order to access the water channels on the base of the incubator. Using a turkey baster, add the desired amount of water needed for your specific egg type requirements. And remember, always use room temperature water when filling the water channels. Now it is time to set your incubator to the proper hatching temperature. When provided with power, the incubator's temperature controller should come on automatically displaying both the humidity and current temperature inside the unit. The incubator is preset to 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Setting your desired temperature is simple. Press and hold the set button for one to three seconds. The current set temperature will begin to flash. Use the up and down buttons to adjust your set temperature to the desired level. Again, press and hold the set button in order to set the temperature. Please note it is normal for the controller screen to switch back and forth between heater on and temp OK once the incubator heats to its set temperature as the controller works to maintain a constant temperature. The two red vent plugs located on the top of the incubator can be left in or removed to assist in controlling humidity and ventilation. In most cases, they should be left on unless there is excessive moisture or humidity, which could be indicated by windows fogging up or water droplets forming. Please note if the red vent plugs are off to release humidity, you may observe a slight temperature drop. If the temperatures drop due to removal of the red plugs, you may need to dial temperatures up slightly to meet your desired incubation temperature or reinsert plugs to retain the temperature. The internal hydrometer will be useful in adjusting and monitoring your incubator's humidity. 
The reading is most accurate between 60 and 80% humidity and will not provide an accurate reading if the incubator humidity is below this. It is recommended to run the incubator for a minimum of 8 hours to stabilize internal humidity and temperature before inserting your eggs. During this time, the heater icon will go on and off. Once the desired temperature is reached internally, a small icon of a hatching chick will appear on the digital screen to indicate that the temperature is ready for you to begin your incubation. It is time to add your eggs. Place them directly on the plastic mesh screen. The temperature sensor should be placed on top of your eggs directly beneath the temperature controller to ensure accurate temperature readings. Make sure the sensor on the lid of your unit is hanging freely and not caught in any other cables. For best results, we recommend the use of a trusted calibrated second thermometer in addition to the one built into your little giant unit. The second thermometer will help to give you a more accurate view of the temperatures at egg level in your unit. It is recommended to place your secondary thermometer at the height in the center of either window. If using a secondary thermometer, it is also recommended to follow the instructions on the incubator log sheet provided with your incubator in order to properly set your incubator. Cover the incubator and allow at least two to three hours for the eggs to warm up to the set temperature before making any adjustments. Wait 24 hours before opening the incubator. After that time period, check water channels daily. It is best to use a flashlight to view water levels through a window if possible. Add water as needed by pushing the lid back one or two inches and adding water to the water channels. It is important that the incubator only be open to add water or rotate eggs if not using an egg turner two to three times daily. This will ensure that temperature and humidity levels are not dramatically changed during your incubation. Once the eggs have started to hatch, wait an additional 48 to 72 hours for the hatch to complete. Once all of your birds have hatched and been removed, the incubator can now be cleaned. Use soap and water to clean your incubator. Do not scrub or use bleach on the incubator as these things will damage your unit. The plastic mesh screen is dishwasher safe as well. With its improved incubator design and commitment to quality, Miller Manufacturing hopes that its Little Giant Incubator series will help improve the hatch rate and satisfaction for all of our customers. Thank you for watching.